Okay, so good day. Hopefully you'll be, you are actually watching this uh, recording for our session for uh, week eight of quarter three. Okay, so it's the last week of quarter three. And, and uh, basically next week we'll start with quarter four yeah, for you graduating students. Yeah. So hopefully next time, especially during this uh, last quarter, no, I attend naman na kayo, no, so that we we'll have a uh, better understanding of the topics that we are uh, discussing here in this uh, subject. No? Again, week eight is from May 10 to 14, 20, 21. Okay, so that is your time frame. Okay, for your learning program schedule, no? your topic is uh, the summative. This is your summative assessment for disaster readiness and risk reduction. This is uh, already part two of your summative assessment. Part one was given last week and hopefully you have uh, been able to finish that. No? And if not, you know, just inform me if there are any problems you're encountering uh, in complying with this uh, requirement, okay? So your part two is an infographic, infographics about disasters, okay? And your objective, of course, is you will uh, be conducting a hazard hunt of exposed elements and propose corresponding corrective actions for one's preparedness, okay? So, syempre, uh, depending on what you've learned from all of these, uh, the modules and activities you've uh, done in that module or in those modules, no? And ma, ma, ano, kayo, no? makakahanap na kayo no? ng mga hazards. Uh, you can identify already hazards that are uh, immediately, uh, you know, at risk of uh, you uh, experiencing, no? especially in your, uh, in your locality. No? And we're going to relate various types of hazards with a specific area of programs and preparedness, okay? So uh, this is also in relation with your uh, part one, which is the uh, family emergency plan, or disaster, family disaster emergency plan, no? Ano pa rin to, no? Related pa rin ito, no? So again, it's, uh, we're talking about disaster readiness, or in other words, preparedness, okay? So this is another uh, one way to put your uh, learnings into action. No? And of course, also to help other people learn about those no? through your infographic. Okay, so you're not going to for this week. No? And you're going to use any app or software that you know how to use very well. No? So yung bahala, kahit ano, I'm not uh, requiring any, any uh, app to use no? as long as uh, it uh, fulfills the purpose, uh, the purpose no? or any art materials no? or art medium. No, na gusto niyong ma magamitin. No? Pwede manual pa rin itong gawin. No? Pwede i-drawing like a poster. No? Uh, you can know, use colors, crayons, uh, colors such as crayons, no? uh, watercolor, uh, poster colors, paints, or any other uh, available to you right now. No? And hindi na kayo gagastos ng malaki. No? So, ayun. You can use cutouts no? or whatever. No? You may uh, uh, expand your creativity on this one. No? And again, you're going to choose what disaster no, is uh, uh, which is most likely to happen in your locality. No? Uh, tulad na lang, kanikani na lang, ano, there was a, I, we have a shock from an uh, earthquake no, from Manila. No? No, naramdam din natin hanggang dito sa Marigalis, but I know, so which is, that can be one of the, uh, ano, one disaster you may want to work on. No? And you may want to provide basic information about the disaster, like how it, how and why it happens and its effects. No? And also give details on the preparations to make before it hits and actions to take during and after it manifests. So it's behind you before, during, and after. Ano yung mga dapat gawin natin? No? So medyo matunog naman na yun yung sinasabi natin na uh, ano na yung back cover hole that is uh, during. No? Pero sa before and after, ano ba yung mga dapat na nang ginagawa? So yun yung dapat makita sa inyong infographics. Na? And you have to present that in the most interesting and concise manner for max maximum engagement and understanding for the widest range of audience or readers. So ibig sabihin, dapat yung uh, infographics na gagawin ninyo ay unang-una nga, dapat ay uh, it contains uh, relevant information but not too much information that it will discourage your uh, audience to read it. No? Ang gusto natin, mas marami ang makabasa, no? Mas marami ang makabasa at makaunawa ng inyong ginawa. No? Kasi nga, we are, uh, we are uh, aiming for the widest dissemination of information about safety precautions, no? So, syempre, 
hindi ka maglalagay niya ng mga sobrang malalalim na mga salita, hindi ka rin maglalagay niya ng sobrang daming salita in a simple one picture or uh, infographics. Na? So, huwag sobra-sobra. No? So, kung masyadong marami yung information na gusto mo i-present, you can uh, divide that into several infographics no? or a presentation. Na, no? Pero kung infographics lang, dapat isang bagsakan o gano'n yun. No? Mabilis mo intindihan, mabilis mo anawaan, madaling sunyan. Okay? So, in other words, your expected outcome, outcome would be the accomplished disaster infographic. No? This will be submitted to me personally. No? Kung kaya nyo ma-print. No? Kung ginawa nyo digital, pwede nyo i-print no? para isend nyo nang uh, ipasa nyo sa akin no? during your uh, schedule of submission. No? Ilagay nyo sa inyong uh, envelope no? tapos ilagay nyo din sa school. Receive nyo sa mga, ano din, sa mga staff or teachers na ang doon. No? Then, you may submit that also digitally by the end of the week. Uh, when you say digitally, you may send that to me to my, uh, through my email, to Messenger, uh, or any other possible means na alam nyo na naisubmit sa akin. Yeah. So, ayan. Again, as much as possible, uh, huwag na tayong masyadong gumastos. No? Hindi naman na kailangan i-print. You can just send, me, send that to me instantly through uh, with means uh, through the internet. Yeah. And again, if in case you can't uh, comply with this Requirements, no? Again, if you can't comply with these requirements, no, pakisabi lang sa akin, kung ano yung uh, nagiging problema para ma-solutionan natin, magbigay natin ang consideration. Okay? So, let's uh, share to you, uh, let me share to you uh, um, an example of an infographic. Actually, I've sent this already through our GC, no? Uh, pakita ko lang din sa inyo ulit. Okay, ito yung sinasabi natin na uh, short, brief, and easy to understand lang yung mga nakalagay dito. Na. Ayan, tapos merong, uh, ayan, merong, uh, uh, dito sa part na to, merong uh, uh, brief introduction lang about earthquakes. Yeah? Ayan, tapos yung very uh, catchy, yung title lang, uh, earthquake, ayun pipi, eh, di ba? So napakasimple. Then before, ayan, sa so may mga, uh, parang checklist dyan na pwede niyo sundan. No? Before, what to do? During, uh, before, or as preparations for the uh, of, of upcoming earthquake. No? Dahil hindi nga natin masabi. No? We, can, we can only measure how strong and where uh, the uh, earthquakes may happen, but we may we will not be able to, uh, to, to tell where or when it will happen unlike for uh, ano, unlike for uh, typhoons no kaya natin bantayan yan no but for earthquakes we can we can only prepare for them but we cannot predict when it will happen so again uh, before is one of the crucial parts of preparations for an earthquake then during syempre ayan nga diyan yung back cover and hold hindi yan mawala then meron dito inside and outside no when you're inside and outside no so, and again, very uh, concise and very easy to understand yung mga ano dito na. Kaya na nandiyan na, nandiyan na, nasa ano pa na, stay calm. Then after, and then then, no? Pina, ano rin, specified din dito ano yung mga dapat gawin after the earthquake. Yeah? So, ayan. So, napaka-simple, no? Napaka-daling intindihin, napaka-daling sundan. Also with some uh, pictures, no? Or illustrations that will help you understand what is being uh, written in this uh, infographic. No? So yan kasi yung infographic, ano, it's a combination of uh, texts and illustrations no? to better to better understanding of a certain topic. No? Yan. So yan, yung mga ipapasa nyo sa akin, uh, kung uh, okay yung pagkakagawa, syempre we will share that also in our page, no? official page ng ating uh, school, no? para makita rin ng mga tao. Syempre, an information too good is... Uh, it's a waste if not being shared with others, no? So, yun. Uh, para hindi masayang yung mga, ano, yung magagandang information na yan, dapat i-share natin yun, no? Especially when it comes to your safety, okay? Then again, uh, credits to uh, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology or yung field box natin, no? Sila ang may gawa nito. Yan, you can uh, use this as your um, inspiration to work on this, uh, so, madali lang naman iyan. Again, but of course, again, for uh, clarifications and questions, you may just uh, uh, give me your, uh, or write your questions here in our uh, GC. Na? Chat mo lang ako anytime. You may also text me kung wala kayong uh, pan-chat. So, again, I'd like to help you on this. Na? 
uh, isa to sa mga pinaka importante ng mga activities kasi sa BRRR. No? So hopefully you will be able to comply with this. Okay? So again, thank you so much for uh, listening. Hopefully you'll be able to work on this and hopefully by the next quarter ay uh, mas madalas na tayong magkita-kita in our uh, during our synchronous classes. Okay? Kasi mas maganda pa rin that we uh, connect and we communicate with each other for your activities. Uh, it would be a lot of help for you uh, to be able to understand well what to do yeah, and be able to comply with it in the most effective manner. Okay, so again, stay safe and I'll see you again.